Hi everyone, it's been a while since I made a video. It's almost been a year, I think. I apologize for not making updates. Um, so I'm gonna try to get right into it right now. So last February, so almost a year, I got my braces taken off. I had my braces for about two years. And now the idea was to, once I got the braces off, I would get veneers. Um, almost a year has passed and I've decided not to get veneers. Instead, the reason I'm making the video now, today is Monday and in two days I am getting uh, bonding on my front four teeth in, on Wednesday. And so in two days, so I thought I'd make the video right before the next phase to change it, to changes to my teeth happen. Um, so I'll put up pictures so you can fast forward if you want of the before and after pictures of now how, how my teeth look. Uh, before we get to that, I'll just quickly talk about why I decided not to get veneers. Um, for me, it was I had to remind myself because when I got the braces taken off, I was just at that point, okay, now I have to save money for the veneers. And it was in my mind, it was kind of a done deal. And as it was getting closer to that, and I just kept doing more research about what that meant, I really realized that veneers were, was not for me. Um, I think they're great um, for people. Um, so if you know, you're thinking about that, go for it. But for me, it wasn't. Um, and I had to remind myself of why I got braces in the first place. And so for me, it was never an aesthetic reason of why I got braces. You know, I, I went at the time, I believe I was 30, 29. I was either 29 or 30 when I got braces. So I had lived my whole life and as an adult with my teeth like that. So it never was a problem for me. The thing was a health issue because they were so crooked you could, and you go back to my previous videos of what my teeth look like, you clearly see how easily uh, plaque could build up in the future as I get older. And so um, I didn't really want that. If I could avoid it, why not, right? Um, and your, the health of your mouth is such an indicator for your overall health. So I wanted to, you know, do what I can. I was, I'm being healthy and this was just one more part of being healthy. And so with that, it was a reminder of my, a reminder to myself of, well, veneers really are an aesthetic um, thing, purely aesthetic. There's, um, you know, unless, you know, there are circumstances where you take certain medicine, your teeth become discolored and things like that. And in those cases, I, you know, I would probably get veneers. But in my case, I thought, you know, my teeth look fine now and this is okay. I don't need to get veneers and so for me it was the the permanence of the veneers that really kind of made me back off of it that once you go down that route you will always have to have veneers because they shave your teeth down so again for me it was a reminder um, that I wasn't in, in it for the aesthetics not that there's anything wrong with that but just that wasn't my motivation in the beginning now I do have a sensitive teeth because um, my front tooth is chipped and you'll see in the pictures. And so the bonding really is to kind of help with that sensitivity issue. And since they're doing one, they suggested, well, why don't you just do the four front ones? And I was like, sure, if my insurance covers most of it, let's do it. And it did, fortunately, which I was very surprised. And so that's where we are now. Uh, a year after getting my braces off, of uh, having my teeth like this, I am now getting bonding to my teeth in two days. And so I wanted to make a video uh, before that happened so you, you had a chance to see uh, what my teeth look like with just the braces. Um, for those of you that are just starting your process in this journey of your braces, um, I guess all I can say is uh, once they're off, it feels like a long time memory. Like I think I, it took almost just two weeks, it just two weeks of me not having braces to start to forget 
what it was like to have braces. Um, and I think when you're having, when you have braces, it's such a constant thing in your mind, right? You're always thinking about it, like how you eat, when you eat, who you're eating in front of. Um, it, it, you know, you, it, there's no way to not think about your teeth and your mouth. So when those braces come off, to be liberated from that is quite great, but you get used to it pretty quickly. Uh, it gets better for those of you who had a lot of, have a lot of gaps or had to get surgery. It does get better um, as time goes on. Um, I'm very happy the way they turned out. Um, I still have to have my retainers every night. If I don't put on my retainers, they start to move. And I, I hate that part of, of it. Um, I have a bar, I'll take a picture too, in the bottom part, so those teeth really don't move. It's just the upper teeth that move uh, once in a while if I, you know, if I go, if I forget to put on the retainer at night. Um, so there it is. So uh, so what I'm gonna also do is I'm gonna do a QA and a video. So put your questions in the comments and I'm gonna try to respond directly on the comment section, but also put them in a video format. So uh, feel free to put them in, um, in the comment section so I can see them. Um, and then the other video would be about um, how it is to have the bonding, what it looks like, what the process was, etc. And after that, I don't know if you guys know, but I was making cooking videos before I started doing these braces videos. Um, so I think I'm going to go back to doing cooking videos because, well, I'm done with the braces and the bonding thing and um, the tooth bonding. So. Yeah, so if you're into cooking, stick around. If not, you, I probably have like two more videos about braces. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm sorry for not updating. Um, and uh, hope these are helpful.